Yay! Welcome back to our math class. And look who I have here. What is this? Who can tell me that? What is this? A ruler. Very good. And I know that you are used to using this because we did it a lot in the classroom. But I want you to remember a little bit about our ruler. For example, can you look at the numbers? This is a long one. And remember that our ruler has two sides. This one here, starting with zero, is our inches side. Inches side. Inches. Who can tell me what inches are in Spanish? Yay! Pulgadas. Very good. And remember that I told you that the inches side is the wider one. As you can see, the space between the numbers is wider than the centimeter side. You see, it's way wider. And remember, we always start measuring with zero. We start measuring with zero. Not one, not two, not three, okay? This is the inches side, but now if we turn the ruler, we are going to have our centimeter side centimeters can you say centimeters with me centimeters and in Spanish centimetros very good so the centimeter side is way narrower is smaller the space is smaller and The numbers look like they're crumpled together. Like super good neighbors. So this week I want you to do the following. I want you to take your ruler and measure two things. That obviously two things that you can measure with the ruler. It's not like you're going to measure the refrigerator with this. No. You're going to measure two things this week. One thing with the centimeter side and one thing with the inches side. So for example, our marker will be, I will measure it in inches. Let's see how many inches is this one hat? Has, okay. As you can see, we always start with zero, so I will put the edge of my marker right there in zero. And then you can see it has, it has five inches, five and a half inches. I don't know if you can see it, but my marker is five and a half inches. So let's do another one. For example, our eraser. I will measure it in centimeters now. So I will look at my ruler. Okay, this is a centimeter side. I will put the very edge by zero and my eraser has is 10 centimeters long 10 centimeters long so you see I want you to do that at home this week and once you measure your things I want you to send me a picture and I want to see what you're measuring I hope you're having fun and that you'll continue to have fun with your amazing ruler in the meantime, I'm going to go and measure more things. Bye! I've got